Every 12 years, timed by the ancient Hindu calendar, the largest congregation of human beings on earth comes together in North India for the oldest religious gathering known to humankind. Over three months, an immense human tide brings 150 million Hindu pilgrims together for one common purpose. They've come to take a holy dip, to worship God by bathing in the river they call the Ganga, India's most sacred, the Mother Ganges. Ignoring past tragedies, when hundreds have been crushed in the crowds, the faithful still come. For Hindus, a dip in the Ganges is an act of purification and redemption, seeking final release of the soul from the cycle of birth and death. It is known as the Maha Kumbha Mela. So this Kumbha Mela is a celebration of oneness, an invitation for all humanity. Come and be with us. I hope I don't get sick. There's got to be something more to it than just you know, a simple bath. We follow three Australian families who've put their lives on hold to make a pilgrimage to the Kumbha Mela. The most challenging part would be the crowd, definitely. The Mishra family from inner city Sydney has come to the Mela for the first time. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be like an adventure. Builder Andrew Turner uprooted his life in rural New South Wales to fulfil a long-held dream. We wanted to come and do something in India and be able to give back. We didn't want to just come and be tourists, maybe change, uh, you know, change someone's life. Pushpa Chowdhury emigrated to Australia 22 years ago. She's brought her Australian-born children back to India to visit relatives and to take the holy dip. I'm just as Australian as anyone else, but then at the same time, you know, there's this, there's these cultural roots that you can't ignore, like they're there, and to come here and, you know, experience that, yeah, it's something I couldn't ignore. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. 